Hello everyone and welcome back to another Scrap Mechanic video. I do hope you have been enjoying all of the Scrap Mechanic videos we've been doing recently. I am really enjoying this game and this one's going to be a really fun video because we spent some time live streaming and come up with this really awesome crane and in this video we're just going to play around with like fine tuning it and adding some more controls to it. So the bulk of the work's already been done here and I've set up a little test for us. We're going to try and move one of these uh, boxes over here onto the platform over on this side and this thing is so cool. Obviously before we attempt that I'm going to show you what's going on here. So this is a fixed crane. It's fixed to the ground. We can't pick this up with the lift. It's all one thing attached to the ground and this is the base of it down here. So underneath we have a few little bits and bobs to control what's going on up above and through the middle of it we have this thing right here um, to control like the bulk of the crane. So we try to mix aesthetics with functionality here and it has worked out extremely well. Now this lift is designed to be used in a particular way. There are several different types of ways you could do this and I've chosen a complex one. As you'll see right here there is a lot of stuff going on and that's because most of this lift is double jointed including this giant platform that we sit on which we can rotate from side to side. Check this out and then we can go oh stop and then we can go this way and we can say hey we want to stop here let's let go of left and boom it will stop. Now you might be wondering how I've managed to do that and I'm going to explain exactly how that's possible but this principle applies to a lot of the stuff you're going to see with this crane. So for example we can move this forward and then stop it and we can move this back and then stop it like that and it's all thanks to this sort of double jointed technique that we've come up with. So uh, how am I going to explain this to you because I haven't really thought about this. I just hit record I was so excited to share it. Uh, let's see, what bit would be best to have a look at? Actually, this bit down here will make the most sense. So you can see where uh, the bearings are and stuff. So we've got one that goes in one direction and one that goes in an opposite direction, but they're being controlled by controllers, which is extremely important. We're going to hop down here and have a look at those. This has been set up to rotate in increments of 10, but it also is set to loop. So this means um, when we, we, we tell it to turn, which we do... <laughs> by this system right here. Okay, so the seat is going to turn this block. The block is then going to activate one of the two sensors and the sensor activates the controller, right? So when it's active, it's going to continue turning in increments of 10 because it's on looped mode. And then when you stop, it's just going to finish its cycle of 10. So let's say it's almost done the 10, then it will just pop forward a little bit. Let's say we've only done a tiny little bit of the 10, it pops back a little bit and I'll show you um, that in action in a second. So because of that it means we can rotate to a position and then stay there. So I'm going to turn left. Now I do it a little bit. You see it popped back and that's because we only went a little bit across the 10. Then that time we went a little bit further and it will sort of stop into a position. It will become much more obvious now that I've explained that. And when we turn right we pop it into that position because we're turning a different bearing and it's on looped mode. So that allows us to move things into different positions. So uh, what we've also done down below is hooked up backwards and forwards, let's have a look down here, um, to sensors as well. There's the sensors, this is the little mechanism to turn it either direction using backwards and forwards with an engine. So we pop in here and this I've got to say is a little bit finicky. We press forward to go down and we turn one bearing. Again it's controlled by a controller on the loop setting and backwards to come up. So we can you know, manipulate this in several different ways which is really cool. Um, now the next thing gets a little bit more complicated and we're using buttons here. We can press 1 to extend and you've got to be careful if you extend it too far it starts to um, affect this thing in the middle because of the weight. And then we press 2 to retract which is extremely cool. Now it's a little bit more complicated because the controllers that do that are controlling multiple sets of double jointed bearings so that they will um, extend in a way that keeps this bit here level with this bit. So it sort of extends outwards in a straight line. And then after that we've got the claw right here. This was uh, a pretty like crude setup for a claw, something we came up with quickly. And by the way those bearings are loose so that this thing naturally faces downwards thanks to gravity. Cheers gravity for doing that. <laughs> right, let's extend this thing uh, out forwards. Let's go to the left a little bit. You can use these at the same time by the way. And I find using the shadow helps. Look at the shadow on the ground. If we move that forward it looks like we're on top of this little area now. I think we might have a bit of trouble picking one of these up because it's now on a diagonal which is something I hadn't thought of. And when we did this on our live stream we had a perfect test straight time. So I'm hoping uh, a perfect test straight away, first time. What am I trying to say there? 
Okay, let's bring it out forward a little bit. Now we want to lower it down. And we're going to press 5 to open it. Look at that, we're opening up the crane. Or the grabber, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what that thing's called. And, oh, got to be careful here because we sort of pinched a little bit of the platform. And it's going to be a failure for this video. Of course it would be. Of course it would be a failure when we're recording on YouTube. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, this thing has been reconstructed. Let's hope we can do a little bit better this time. Now, this thing's going to be lined up straight, which is how we did it in the live stream. So it should be a fair bit easier. Don't want to knock it. Let's bring this thing back a little bit or, or upwards and uh, extend it out again. There we go, just a little bit further I think. Now we're going to press 5 to open it up. And then we're going to go down a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, 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 no. Not enough. Let's try that again. And we pinched <laughs> the uh, the wall again, which is not good. Oh, but we have picked up. Yes, we picked up the box. That's amazing. Okay. So I thought that was going to fail spectacularly again. Because we pinched... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sometimes the uh, controls get a little bit stuck. And it continuously tries to go backwards. There we go. Good stuff. Okay. Okay. Now let's spin it around to the side. We're going to take it to its new destination, which is over on this shelf. <laughs> oh, man. This thing is so cool. But we definitely need to design a different claw, which is actually what I wanted to do in this video. One of the things um, to change about this, as I don't think this thing is finished yet. Okay, we lift it up, we press 1 to go further out, and man, we are actually really high, let's lower that down a little bit. Maybe I put that thing like too far away, it might actually be out of range, and I'm very worried about extending it any further. You can see, once you go past a certain point, the weight is just too much for it, and uh, it seems to apparently still be too much for it. Let's bring that back, there we go. And now it starts to sort itself out thanks to having less weight. Okay, so let's steer to the left a little bit. That's it, go forward. And extend, let's see if we can put it on top. I don't think we're even going to get close. That's unfortunately out of our range. I didn't really design this too well, did I? I should have put this uh, platform a little bit closer to the crane. But there you go, we can pick up blocks of it and we can put them back down again. Okay, the next step I think is to do just a couple more tests, see if we can pick up some other block types. But I thought of a really cool idea. I wanted to mess around with the crane and, as I said, add some more controls to this thing. And one of the problems we're always going to run into with this is the way I've tried to lock these together. There's always going to be, um, yeah, some funkiness. Some of you will know what I'm talking about. If you haven't played the game, I'll tell you what, don't worry about it. But where we're trying to lock together some blocks because they're separated, because they're on different sets of bearings, always going to run into difficulty there. But I was thinking, if we have a bearing facing downwards, and then the, the claw is attached to that below, what we could end up with is one that we can rotate and adjust for angles, like where we had uh, that block, I think it was, or maybe it was a different one, was a little bit too far away. We might actually run into the same problem with that one again. Whoa, 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 come back. That's another bad thing about... Uh, <laughs> about this is uh, as you like nudge it into block you're gonna blocks you're gonna pull it apart with a little bit of tension so I want to point out I am not like a, a good person operating a crane I haven't operated a crane before I uh, am a little bit derpy with my own control system here so can't put it all down to the device it's the driver as well oh we sort of pinched it let's go down a little bit I tell you what is that enough can we can we get out of here with just that I think we can. Have we got the box? Oh, no. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Easy, easy. Okay. Lesson learned there. So where I was steering to the side and it was moving slowly, it was still building up the momentum to turn further. So you've got to be extremely careful with colliding with other objects, it seems. Okay, test number two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go that way. There we go. A little bit more. A little bit back there. Can we... Yikes, we sort of clipped into it. It's probably going to do the same thing when we lift up now. Uh, let's drag it back towards us a little bit. And let's try lifting it up as well. Mm, I don't think we've got that. <laughs> I don't think we've got it at all. And we're sort of breaking our own crane here. Oh, this crane thing isn't so great, is it? It isn't so great. Come on, come with us. No, we haven't got a grip of that at all. <laughs> all right, let's try the last one over here. You know, I was really excited when we first did this, and it seems like it's suitable for the one type of box, but perhaps not for the other ones. That could be based on what type of uh, crane we use here. I also keep pressing the wrong buttons when I'm trying to do things. Okay, so let's go down. Right, so now let's open. 
Go down again. I think we need to turn to the right a little bit. There. Oh, no, 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 no. We want to take that box. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, I am rubbish. I am rubbish at operating this crane. It's a cool crane. I can build it. I'm an engineer, but I'm no driver. <laughs> okay, we are back on the crane with a new toy to play with. We've got a new claw at the end of this thing, and it's made out of wood, which makes it much lighter, and I'm sure will give us a little bit more strength here. Now, we're going to uh, we're going to raise this thing up a little bit. There we go. Then we're going to turn over to the side. We're going to attempt to pick this one up again. Now, here's something cool that I've done. I'm going to press 5, and it's now a switch. Instead of us having to hold down a button, we can get out and go, nope, we are not close enough. Let's hop back in. Let's magically fly over to that chair. By the way, you've got to watch the chair when I get in here. Let's get out again. Let's go check. Nope, not far enough. And pay attention to the player. Boom. <laughs> I love the way the body moves around. It's so weird. Anyway, let's move forward a little bit. Then extend a bit further. And then forward. And that looks like we're lowering into the correct spot. There we go. Okay, a little bit lower down. Come on, come on. There we go, and now we press 5. Oh, I think it pinched. I think it pinched the platform, which isn't good. Here's what we're going to do. We're not going to let that happen again, because when we pinch the platform, everything goes wrong. So I tried to make these platforms bigger. Apparently not big enough. Now, if we do that, it shouldn't technically pinch it. It should sort of slide along it, which will cause a little bit of friction, uh, but should keep it in good condition. I really want to be able to pick up one of these bigger boxes, and I've got a feeling... It might not quite work how we want. Okay, no, we have we have definitely... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, okay, we tried. Maybe we need a bigger claw. Um, let's come around then and try this one over here because I've got another fancy toy which I haven't even told you about yet. All right, so are we going to go for that one? Or do I want to go for... Actually, we're going to go all the way over to this side. So I've installed something else on this crane as well. And it's just above the claw itself. There are a couple of bearings which turn in either direction. Um, so what we're going to do now is try and rotate this thing to be at the same angle as the box. So we're going to press 3, and look at that, it turns to the side. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. And then we can stop, and we can go, yeah, that looks good. Now we can also hop out and see, aha, we need to come back a little bit, I think. Let's press 5, let's open that, let's press number 2, bring ourselves back a little bit, lower it down. That's upwards, what am I doing? <laughs> I always get those two the wrong way around. Okay, and that looks very close to the box right there. Okay, and don't don't go too far forward. Come on, a little bit further forward. It's so finicky, the controls, the way they've been set up there. And, oh, ah, <laughs> this, uh, this video has mostly been failures of me trying to pick up boxes. Oh, but it's so cool. I'm sure we'll improve the accuracy of this over time. Okay, we're going to give another shot of this one here. So we're going to press number four to spin it in the other direction, spin it back. And it moves a lot slower. I thought it would be better for that one to be a little bit finer, which is something that you can do. The slower it moves, the more accurate it is, basically. Okay, and then we're going to stop there. Now we're going to uh, go down a little bit. We're going to press 5, and then we're going to hop out and have a look. How are we doing for this one? Okay, definitely need to go a little bit lower, but then we're going to be ready to close. Okay, so down we go. Press 5. Yes, we've got it. We've actually got it, but it's going to fall out, isn't it? It's fallen out. Oh, my days. Wow. Okay. Um, there's definitely something wrong with the claw here. I've, I've not got the best of ideas for this, have I? So if I were to try and improve this, I think what might might benefit from is having like inter something interlocking at the bottom. So let's add those two there, and let's add one, two, and three, and see if that helps when we pick up things. I've got a feeling it kind of won't. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's hop back on and try and pick up something else. Okay, if we turn to the right here, we go too far for my liking. Um, if we turn it back, we're sort of on the edge here. So I think what we need to do is probably fine-tune um, the bearing controls for this so it can move in smaller increments. Anyway, let's give it a shot in the dark, really. <laughs> and it goes flying off over there. Wow, have we had... I think we've had, like, one success this video. And I'll tell you what, we did it first time on the live stream, and it was amazing. Uh, but we only really tried the one... But it's a step in the right direction. I think we might be doing another video after we've made some improvements to this. I had some plans um, which we've tried out. We've added the 
like the the new rotating claw thing here and the switch. I had a few more ideas, but I'm thinking at this point it might be a good idea to do another live stream, hang out with everyone and see what they have to say about it and see if we can find a better way of picking up these boxes because the claw design I have right here isn't doing the trick and I haven't got too many ideas on how we should improve this, but you know, with multiple people working together like we do in the live streams, then I'm sure we'll come up with something decent. Anyway, that is my crane design right there. I really do love this thing, but it needs some more work. But I'm happy to show it to you guys because it's really cool. And uh, you'll probably see another video from me on this soon. So subscribe if you uh, want to catch that video. And of course, check out the Scrap Mechanic playlist. There are loads more of these videos for you to binge watch if you want to... Uh, to watch them so yeah that's it from me this video if you enjoyed it please do leave a like as always thank you so much for the support and i'll catch you next time bye bye